So tonight we are working on the platen assembly for this 2x72 belt grinder. If you are new to this build so far, this is part three. The first part we did the base frame of it. The second part we did the uh, tracking pillar. And this part we're going to be working on this plate right here. Now this is a, I'm doing a 4 by 12 piece of 3 8 plate steel. The plans from, uh, that I found in the blog site DC Knives, excellent, excellent, excellent blog site that has extremely detailed plans for this thing. So anyway, and that's, that's what I'm going off. Why sit there and try to reinvent the wheel when there's somebody who has done all the legwork for you? I know that may seem like a lazy man's thing, but uh, well, I want this to work. So anyway, so we have a 4 by 12 piece of 3 8 plate steel. Everything, of course, we are using imperial measurements, not metric. I did have one viewer not happy with that, but I live in the States, so that's kind of what we, what we do here. So anyway, we need... Two half inch holes for the uh, oh for the bolts that are going to support the uh, the two inch the two inch wheels. Geez, I can't talk. The two inch wheels that go on the platen assembly. We have two quarter inch holes right here. That's going to be where our slots for our platen assembly itself. They're going to go into there. These will be threaded. I will probably thread these. This one I will definitely thread. Uh, no, actually, I'm not going to thread these right here. Excuse me. Pardon me. Made a mistake. I'm going to thread the piece of inch and a half uh, tube stock or square stock that that's going to mount to. So we have a quarter inch hole in the center, and then we have a quarter inch hole for adjustment right there. So that's what we're going to be working on. It's going to be mostly drilling and tapping and all that good stuff tonight. But uh, that's what we have. That's where we're at. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you on the other side of it. Oh, I'm quickly burying myself again. I just cleaned this forge out pretty decently and huh, one project not even halfway through and she's already looking like death again. So anyway, we got to make a few marks on here. We're going to use a punch. Now I got checking my... I put the uh, idler assembly, the tracking assembly on there and I got looking at it and says, boy, that just doesn't seem... It was out of square. And I... Uh, so anyway, where are we, three quarters in? Yes. So anyway, I got, uh, I got looking at it. I'm going to put a square on my drill press. And I'll be damned if that drill press wasn't out, oh, no, a little over a sixteenth of an inch. It's like, yeah, no wonder. No wonder you're a little bit out of square there. So the first holes we're going to line out here are going to be our half inch holes that are going to support the wheels if I can find my mark. There we go. There we go. Yes, yeah, so there's half inch. Next one down are going to be two and three quarter inches in off of each end. And they're going to be in an inch. And do the same thing down here. Well, that works nice. Beautiful. We're ready to do some drilling. Now they have that squared away again.
Uh, so we have our platen, uh, you know, part of our platen assembly done. All right, there, let's see if you guys can see that all right. So we have our adjustment here, so when it's on, we can pivot this. We've got our holes drilled for the bearing shafts. We have our quarter inch holes drilled for the uh, platen plate that we're gonna attach to this. We're gonna use some angle iron for that. And then uh, we're gonna make it so we can attach a piece of tool steel to it because the back side of the belts will wear through the mild steel pretty quick from what I have read. So everything I'm going on here, folks, is what I have read or what I have watched. Gotta love YouTube, it's good for everything. So next thing up we need to do, we need a piece of inch and a half uh, tube or square stock. We need to cut that 17 inches long according to the plans that I am following. Of course, I'm gonna have to put the, uh, weld the eighth inch shims on there also. Then we'll have to grind it down till it fits right. Now I got rid of those cheesy, I got rid of these things that I made. I only figured those for temporary. And uh, oh, I was in Lowe's the other day just looking for stuff to use here. And got a hold of some decent plastic knobs. They're about two bucks a piece, so not too bad. Did the same thing for the tracking arm or the, uh, the tracking bracket. Well, let's see here. If I can get it out of here, we'll be all right. Long-winded she is. Also, I picked up, I picked up a better spring. I was not happy. I wasn't happy with the way that this screen door a strainer spring held in there. It just, it was too small. The, the weight feels about right, but not quite enough. So I got the next closest thing I could do to specs. This is a 34 pound spring. I picked up two of them at Fastenal for $3.50. So that's not too bad, but uh, much better, much better on that. But anyway, oh yeah, I was showing you this knob. That's what I was doing, I always forget. I've been out here all night screwing around with that plate right there, that 3 8 plate. My good, my good rotary tool that I used to use to port chainsaws, because that's something I used to be into many, many moons ago. The chuck flew off of it tonight and there was some fancy cursing. I'm not sure if I'm going to edit that out or not yet, probably will because uh, I got a little pissed off there. but. There is the tracking bolt. Also taking old Sneelock's advice. If you guys have never checked him out, check out old Sneelock's workshop. He restores vintage tools, things like that. Very talented man. He recommended switching this over to a grade eight bolt and that's what we did. I got the closest thing I could get so that the, uh, the threads aren't actually sitting on that part. And he's absolutely right, that should last a lot longer. That was a really good comment there, some good advice in that comment. But like I said, we may end up remaking this uh, riser piece, this pillar anyway, all for one hole that got drilled crooked. Yeah, it's been a great night, just discovery. And But you know, the worst part is it's always stuff that you should catch. It's always stuff you should check. And I'm so guilty of just hopping into something and not doing that. And then it ends up costing me time. But that's all right, because maybe you can do it even better. Just never know. So anyway, we're gonna cut our, our square stock here, uh, 17 inches. We've gotta drill some holes and things like that. So keep watching. All right, so this guy here, we're gonna come in three quarters of an inch. And I'll hook the tape measure for this one, not a big deal. We'll come in on this. Three quarters. And we're going to come from there in an inch and a half. Now I made a, a mistake. That center hole in the platen plate is going to be, uh, or the platen assembly is going to be three eighths, not... It's not going to be um, a quarter.
So I'm deviating from the plans a little bit here. I'm actually going to weld the uh, bolts on here, tack them on, and if something ever happens, I can grind them off and redo it. So we're going to tack our quarter inch on here and our three eighths, piece of three eighths threaded rod there and see what happens. Where did I put my piece of three eighths? Right here. And see, that'll do her. All right, let's try to make it halfway decent looking. Now this, the directions in his blog, they wanted that 3 h nut welded on the inside. Said I'm doing this just a little bit different, but it shouldn't cause any issues. So I'll turn you back on once I'm done welding. Okay, let's see what we have. Let's see how we ended up. I think just for shits and giggles. It's, uh, da, 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 da. I just saw them. Where the hell did they go? All right, let's see what we have. I did some butchery here on that, uh, on this guy quite a bit. That did not go very well, but it's good enough for government work. Now we have some shaping and whatnot to do on this, which should be, uh, that'll be the easy part. We're just gonna round some corners off, make it look a little nicer rather than just a square block here. We'll trim this quarter inch nut down, or bolt down. And that moves around all right. Could be a little tighter on there for my lichens. That slides in well. Let's just tighten it up and see what happens. Make sure everything fits square on there. Oh, where did you go? Well, we put, may put a wing nut or something on that. That's just to hold that in place. The, uh, the 3 8 rod is doing most of the work. So that'll adjust in and out. Have the knob on the back side here. Yes, sir, not going anywhere. I think I've about had it for one night. Wait, does that make me happy? All kinds of excited. All right, folks, not as much progress in this one, but every little bit works and it does help. So we have this set. At least we know this will slide in and out all right. It's a nice snug fit, starting to look a little bit like a grinder. Well, not really yet, but uh, I should have the wheels coming soon for it, hopefully within the next few days, and also the uh, frequency drive for, we're going to have to scrounge a three-phase 230 volt motor, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. Worst comes to worst, uh, towards the end of January, I will buy one. That's when I should be able to get one. So next time out, we're going to make the platen plate and all that good stuff. Um, we're just kind of getting things roughed in We'll take care of the uh, we'll take care of the nuances and the making it pretty as once we get everything kind of set up and I make sure everything works. But, um, I do have another piece 
of a 4x12 3H thick plate that we're going to use as a tool rest um, as long as this works. So we probably hold off on that, making the tool rest until we kind of, of course you never know, I probably won't hold off, but I, I talk big. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We're just plugging away here as always. Had a good, I took a few days off from work to do a lot of small game hunting with my son. And we, we were out today for a little while and uh, yeah, just whack environments, you know. It's always a good time. We had squirrel and rabbit for dinner. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.